Good day, vlogist. We're going to pick tomatoes. It is vlogist day two. I'm in my pajamas. Well, yeah, is it day two? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my tomato plants are a mess. There was a bad storm last week and things happened. Oh my gosh. But we're gonna pick some tomatoes. I gotta put you guys somewhere. Hold on. I can't bend with my leg though. Oh my gosh. I'm never gonna be able to eat all these tomatoes. It's just not gonna happen. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Probably not. We don't have as many today, thank God. My tomato plants are out of control. There's like peppers and the tomatoes. I had them so nice and organized and things just got out of hand. Things just got way out of hand. Oh my goodness. Look at those little guys. They're like little balls of sugar. They're so good. I just can't eat them fast enough. These are bad ones that had like holes or bad things. I'll compost them then. We don't have any big ones today. Thank the Lord above. But look at all these red ones. They're not quite ready yet. So I'm going to let them go till tonight. And hopefully we'll eat some in the meantime. My rosemary plant is out of control. I'm going to make some rosemary tea for my hair. Like some rosemary water. So we'll pick this later. For right now. Oh, I got to get the mail. Oh, I'll show you guys my zinnias. I just threw a bunch. Oh, there's a butterfly. Hold on. Aww, so pretty. Look at these zinnias. They are out of control. I just threw a bunch of seeds in and I, oh my gosh, I did not have this many last year. What's going on back there, we don't need to talk about. Our light is broken, like our little porch light thing. So they're working on that. But look at these. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of them. They look so pretty. Okay, we got the mail. Let's get our tomatoes. Perfect. Oh, I know what's in this Amazon. It's my nail polish that I ordered yesterday. So this is a brand I've never tried, but they were cheap and the colors looked pretty. So most of them were like, you had to buy like a pack of 20 nail polishes. And I'm like, I don't want 20, I just want like five. So we'll have to try them later. Uh, my mom's coming up today and we're gonna go to the pool. So I might take you guys to the pool today. I just am worried about taking my camera to the pool. So these are the colors that I got. Just like some little pastel, neutral, you know, neutral pastels. Um, I think I might do the mint green one tonight. We'll see. We'll look at them later. But the brand is Beatles, Beatles Gel Polish. So I don't know if they're any good. Usually I use D&D. But the D&D ones, you have, to, you have to buy them in a pair where you get a gel and a regular. And I don't, I don't need both. I just want like a quick gel polish. You know? Look what the cat dragged in. It's not safe. Big Daddy woke up for his coffee. You're up early today. <laughs> 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 Every night 
I, I push this table back there because that's where I have my grow light. Everybody seems to be happy with the grow light, but then I push it back over here because of the window during the day. It's a process. This guy needs this leaf cut off. Today will not be a plant day, I promise, because um, I know not all of you like the plant stuff. A lot of you do. Um, I just got to get them situated. We're going to put the humidifier on. I bought this from Amazon like a month ago, and I freaking love it. I'll show you guys once I have it hooked up. Oh, my lady. Do you know how many times I had to cut me saying that out of the video? Oh, my leg, my leg. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Everybody get some humidity. <laughs> my beauty room has turned into a freaking greenhouse. I still need to get an actual, like, mini greenhouse, but... I'm trying to be good and not spend money, you know? Even though I just bought a pair of Birkenstocks yesterday, that was not planned. Usually I plan out a big purchase like that. I mean, for me, that's a big purchase. I don't know about y'all. Good evening. This is what we're currently doing, soaking off my gel. I started picking it off and it was really like taking the top layer of my nails off naturally. <sighs> so I'm soaking them in acetone. I just cut, like I take a cotton, would you like to focus? Don't mind my messy table. I just take a cotton pad and cut it into fours get some acetone on it and then wrap them in foil. Sit for like 20 minutes. Ugh, I hate this part, but we gotta get it off. So I'll keep you posted. I have so much shit in front of me right now. My nails look tragic and I used acetone. They look so bad, like the top layer still came off. They look horrible. They're like so damaged that I like have to put gel on them because there's no way I could even put regular polish. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to start doing gel because it's so bad for your nails. I don't care what anybody says, it's so bad. So these are our options. Wolfing. So these are our options. What are we, what are we thinking? Okay, I have my one hand in the um, the light. Here's what we're working with. I'm not getting close up because they look freaking terrible. Ah, the color is really good though. As long as you don't get too close, like from back here, they look really good. But from up here, they look really bad. Oh no. I love this color though. It's really pretty. I forgot my tripod. <laughs> Good morning. Oh my god. I, I feel like I slept like so hard. I need some coffee. Stat. Super stat. So we're going school shopping today for Emma. You Two hours to shower, wash my hair, and do a full face and makeup. Perfect. So in other words, it's probably not going to happen for me. Okay, so we're getting ready to go school shopping. This is my little outfit. My favorite Harley shirt. My Levi's from Target. 
and my Converse. I have two pairs of black Converse and I choose to wear the ones that are destroyed. They're like the original ones. You guys know they changed Converse. They're different. Now they're like, I don't know. These are like really thin and the new ones are like padded and I freaking hate them. I very much regret getting rid of all of my old Converse because can't get them anymore. Why is my camera not focusing? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I actually washed my hair today. I probably should put some product in it. So I'm going to take you guys along with and we'll see what we get into. I got to turn that beauty filter off. I'm an idiot. So we went shopping today with Tony's mom. I took my camera, extra battery, forgot a memory card. So I couldn't film a dang thing, but I'll show you what I got. We got Emma a bunch of stuff for school. I wanted these in green from Target, but they were sold out. So I got the orangey ones. They're like the softest. It's not like velvet. Even though it's called velvet, it, it doesn't have traditional velvet feel, but they're so cute. I didn't want the comforter or the quilt. I mean, I did, but I don't need it. So I just got the little pillowcase. Is this one or two? Bitch, did I pay $20 for one? Oh, hell no. I thought it was two. This is one. One? Oh, fuck me. That might be getting returned. I got some oven mitts because Emma's taking my old ones. These were on sale for six bucks at Home Goods. Cute. I needed some new dish towels and these match my kitchen. Cute. I know, exciting. Oh, and Emma wanted a drying mat and I wanted one, so we just got a two pack. I've never owned a drying mat. I always just use like a, um, like a dish towel. So that's exciting. Do you know what I found? I finally found the freaking ghost blanket. I really wanted the pink one, but do you know how long I've been looking for this? For like over a month. Always sold out. They're like going for so much money online. I found one. I really wanted the pink, but I was like, if I don't get this, I know I'm gonna regret it. It's so cute. It looks like little Pac-Mans. I love this. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna see if my friend Deanna wants it cause she was looking for them too. She might want it, I don't know. But I, I just couldn't leave it behind. And my body wouldn't allow it. Cute. I'm so excited for my duvet. She's so excited for her duvet. Do you wanna show the vlog? No. Girl, that's rude. I don't know, I don't. I got a light duvet and I have a light duvet cover with some white sheets and a white pillowcase. She's going for the aesthetic. I bought these cookies at Trader Joe's. We're gonna test them out. Butter shortbread sandwich cookies with raspberry. Do you wanna get in on this? Yeah. Here you go. I would love actually. Dang, don't wait for, don't wait for me. It doesn't smell very good. Really? Oh yeah. No? That's busting. Busting my ass. Like that? There's no flavor. I love it. <laughs> I'm not a shortbread queen. That's all right. There you go. You, if you love it so much, you can have it too. Mm. Mm. Do you know that I paid $20 for one? I thought there was two. It's got my turns. <laughs> can you think it was two? I thought it was two. That's obscene. Target, you ought to be ashamed. Hey, babe. Mm -hmm. Me and the vlog are going out to water my flowers. You and the what? The vlog. You're filming? Yep. So I was sitting here? Yeah. And I heard a frog. What? Or a toad. I didn't fart. No. No, I'm <laughs> actually being serious. <laughs> What? Yes, you know that noise you always hear with their drainage pond over there? Yeah. 
It sounded like it was in this fucking room, though. What? Yes. That's crazy. And the front door was open, and the screen door was kind of cracked, so maybe it was right outside the door there. Maybe oh that's my god! I, heard, but I didn't see nothing out there, and I'm like, I'm really hoping there's not a frog in our house. Let me look and see if I see a frog anywhere. Let's go water my flowers. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear me because my neighbor's mowing the lawn, and it's windy as shit out. So I might have to vo like put music over this, but we'll see. Look at this beautiful girl. It's one of my favorite flowers. It's some kind of phlox. It blooms forever. I love it so much. This one's kind of dying, don't judge. I hate these dahlias. I love the way they look, but they never do good. These are pretty much dead. I love this thing. Look how cool that is. It almost looks like it's like iridescent. And look at that cute little mushroom. I got him at Home Goods. He's so cute. Look how cute that little begonia is. I love him. Oh. My leg is getting better, but it still freaking hurts. I gotta get more water. Look at that fern thriving. Look how beautiful these baskets are. They're doing so good. This guy and this guy. It is so windy. Holy crap. Is that straight? How would you guys feel about a quick empties video? Well, I don't know how quick it's gonna be. Oh God, I don't even know if I can get to the bin. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh God. Hold on, let me get myself presentable. Whatever, I don't care. Okay, should I stand or should I sit? I feel like if I sit, I'm gonna have to keep focusing stuff. Well, anyway, Tropic Glow Body Butter. Love of my life. I gotta stand up. This is not feeling right. Love of my life. I have three in my cupboard. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is better than Bum Bum Cream. Bum Bum Cream is $50. This stuff is... This stuff is 10 This stuff is 10 It's so good. I can't get enough. The usual, I have my Beekman wipes. I like these. I like the Kirkland ones from Costco. They're good, but to this day, my favorite are the Equate Rose Water from Walmart. They're so cheap. I guess we should stay on brand and throw the wipes. Okay, we have another Equate. Another Equate. Another Equate. Alrighty, let's get into some, okay, we'll do this. The Batiste dry shampoo. This is the only dry shampoo that I use. I like the original. It's cheap and it works. I know there's like, there's things out there now about dry shampoo, but like, what am I to do? Like, what's the alternative? I don't know. Uh, the total results from Matrix Brass Off. This is really good if you need a blue shampoo. Like if you're brunette, but you just have a couple little highlights, this is really good. I've been using a purple mask. I've stopped using purple shampoo because I keep hearing that it's like bad for your hair. Like it's bad for your blonde. So I've been using the Amika purple mask. It's like brass something. I like that one. Oh, I have another Batiste, same one. Beach Defense Sunblock, good, like it. Nothing exciting to report. Oh, I love this stuff. This stuff is so expensive. The Caudalie La Creme, it's like $109, but it is delicious. It's so nice. I really love this. I may one day repurchase, but not yet because I have a lot of moisturizers going on right now, but really good. Uh, Aquaphor for my tattoos, obviously. 
Uh, let's get into some stuff we've not talked about before. Oh, this I got sent from the brand. Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid and Collagen Activating Serum. This was really good. It was a cream, which I really liked, and it just felt so hydrating and nice. I really like this. I think it's around like 50-ish dollars. Would I repurchase? There's a possibility. I just have so much skincare right now, but... This is a good one. I really liked it a lot. The Verb Ghost Conditioner, one of my all-time favorite conditioners. I repurchased already, but my mom took it, <laughs> which is fine because I bought those new Amica ones, but this is amazing. Like, especially if you have fine hair because it doesn't weigh your hair down, this nail polish looks so good, wow. Um, I have a Bioderma, which I don't really use much often anymore, but I used to use this a lot to take makeup off. The best micellar water on the market. I will die on that hill. I'm running out of room. I mean, I have stuff that you guys have seen before, like the Olaplex oil. I like this one, but I like the Verb Ghost Oil better. That's my like oil of choice for my hair. The Olaplex one's good. I don't know, I'm kind of over Olaplex. It's too pricey and I don't think it's anything special. Uh, the Charlotte setting spray, amazing. I've had another one since I finished this one and it's empty and it may be in here somewhere. Amazing. I love, 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 love. Uh, the Verb Ghost Hairspray. I really loved this hairspray, but this pumper, pumper, my voice like cracked. Every single day when I would go to use it, it was clogged. So I, I refused to repurchase it, but I am a whore for Verb. I love, love the brand, but I hated this freaking nozzle. It was torture. Um, I feel like all this other stuff we've like going through so many times. I have more rose water wipes, more Beekman, more Beekman, the Hydro Boost wipes from Neutrogena. I like them all, but like I said, the Equate ones are the best ones. Um, I have the face cleanser from First Aid Beauty. This was really good. If you're like, if you have sensitive skin or if you want something gentle, this is so nice. This is the original one. It just had, like, limited edition packaging. Really good. Uh, Misty Morning Body Wash from Bath & Body Works. This one was good. It smelled pretty nice. I don't remember how it smelled, so I'm thinking it, it wasn't that memorable. Therefore, yeah, you know. Uh, my favorite hand sanitizer, but it's freaking expensive. The Touchland, the Rose one. For some reason, all of them are $10, but the Rose one is $16. Like, what's happening? I love this one, but I have recently discovered the Sandalwood. Oh, my God. Like, if I could drink a hand sanitizer, it would be that one. Uh, Fix Plus Matte. I love the original for like taking down a powdery face, but I love this one for like setting everything. I need to repurchase this. I'm really, really missing this in my routine. So I am gonna repurchase. It's amazing if you're oily. Discoloration Correcting Serum from Good Molecules. I'm also a whore for Good Molecules. I think they're an amazing brand. So cheap, so good, good ingredients. This was wonderful. I would totally repurchase. I think this is around like $12 and it is freaking good. Don't, don't sleep on good molecules. They're amazing. Oh, here's the other Charlotte setting spray. I mean, I just have like more Bath and Body Works, Fresh Getaway. Eh, I mean, it was good. I don't know. I feel like all Bath and Body Works is starting to smell the same. Oh, the Tula face wash. This stuff, I, I love this stuff so much. This might be my next face wash that I repurchase. I love the Youth to the People one, but there are often times where I'm about to wash my face and I think to myself, I really wish I had my Tula one. So I think that's a good indicator that I need to buy another one. 
an empty Sephora bag. <laughs> Excuse you, you don't belong there. Um, I have the the de bronzy de bronze eye drops from Drunk Elephant. I have a new one in use. This was the old packaging, which I love this packaging. Why did they change it? I prefer this over the new one. I love this if you want bronzing drops. They're great. I'm not the biggest like drunk elephant person, but I do love that F balm. Have I showed that to you guys? I showed it on Snapchat. I'll grab it and show it to you. Um, I do love these though. They're, yes, they're great. But like, you can get the L'Oreal Glotion and it's pretty much the same thing. Another Batiste. The Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum from First Aid Beauty. 10 out of 10. I love this stuff. Oh, there's so much stuff that I want to repurchase. If you have dark spots, amazing. I swear this did help. It feels so good on your skin. It's like soothing. It's hydrating, it's like nourishing, it's so soft and like silky smooth, amazing. 10 out of 10. Oh my God, it matches my, shut up, it matches my nails. Oh, here's my little, this is my favorite face wash, the You To The People, uh, what's it called? Kale and green tea spinach vitamins, is that what it's called? Yeah. I have a big one that's almost empty, but these are like the little like trial size. I mean, it's so good. I've tried so many face washes and I always go back to this one. I just, I love it. A lot of this stuff you guys have seen so many times. The Caudalie Reservatrol Lift Instant Firming Serum. Wow, this was great. Another product that I may repurchase at some point like, I didn't notice, like, a huge difference. I just really love the way this felt on my skin. It felt so nice. Mm. I love Caudalie. I'm a whore for Caudalie. I'm a whore for so many. I'm a whore. I'm a whore. Oh, my favorite uh, tint and moisturizer, the Origins Ginseng. Whenever someone will, like, message me and say, I need a recommendation for, like, the best skin tint, I always tell them this one. It works for dry. It works for oily. It has SPF 40. You just apply it with your hands. It couldn't be easier. It lasts all day. It doesn't give too much coverage, but just enough to make you look, like, fresh, you know? Amazing. I love it. I have a little mini Fix Plus. Look how cute this thing is. I'm sorry about the focus. I don't know why it's so slow. Uh, we have two Ultra Repair Creams from First Aid Beauty. Are these both Ultra? Yeah. I love this for on my tattoos. Like, after the first week where you're kind of done with Aquaphor, but you need something, and my kids use this. It's so gentle. If you have sensitive skin, if you have eczema, psoriasis, this stuff is delicioso. Your skin will suck it up. A Pixie Glow Tonic, and it's so cute. It has my name on it. I love Glow Tonic. I, I mean, I've been talking about it for years. One of the best toners of life. I have a Citron and Sage body wash from Philosophy. This smelled really good, and it was like the color of my nails, so that made it even better for some reason. Okay, I mean, I think everything else is just like fresh sugar, which I have to rant. Did you guys know that fresh took the SPF out of fresh sugar? This has been my pull lip balm for, I mean, like 10 years, if not longer. That's so sad. So now if you buy a fresh sugar, it doesn't have the SPF in it. Like, what are we doing? That's why that was one of the reasons I loved it, because it was like, a sunblock for your lips. That is depressing. I went on Poshmark and I found one for $13 and I ordered it. So I have one left with sunblock. Oh, so sad. I have a brow freeze, which, you know, I go back and forth with brow freeze. Some days I love it. Some days I'm like, it's not enough, but I can't find anything better. So we're sticking with it. Everything else is stuff that you guys have seen a thousand times, like my papaya cleansing balm from Glow Recipe. It's my most favorite cleansing balm of all time. Um, I have a bunch of top coats. I have some Glisten and Glow, some KB Shimmer. K 
KB Shimmer is my go-to. It just dries so quickly. I love the Glisten and Glow one, which used to be called HK Girl, and I still want to call it that. But when the bottle gets like halfway, it gets so thick that you can't even use it. The KB Shimmer one, I can use to the bottom. Therefore, it's taken the top spot in my life. So, okay. I, oh, wait. We can talk about this. Oh, my God. What's on my nail? It's like mascara. Oh, I love this. The Maracuja Juicy Lip from Tarte in the shade Rose. Let me see if I can get some out. It's so pretty. The color is just gorgeous. It's so shiny, but so comfortable. I have another one I've since repurchased. 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. There's nothing else I can say. I love it. I have so many like tinted, you know, like your lips, but better, just like a little lip tint. This is top three of all time. Love it. Frugal love it. And the Way Body Cleanser in the shade, in the shade, in the scent, St. Bart's. When I die, I want to be floating in a bubble bath filled with anything St. Bart's. It smells like suntan lotion. It smells like you're on the beach. It smells like you're in the Caribbean. Anything with St. Bart's on it, sign me the frick up. Okay, so that's going to conclude our empties. Everything else you guys have seen a thousand times. Oh, I'm so sad that this La Creme is empty. I literally licked it dry. Oh, I love this stuff. Oh, I did, this is the one that I love, Blue Sandalwood. This is like the new limited edition packaging. This stuff smells heaven, heavenly. Oh gosh, she doesn't go in there. Oh, is this my new one? Yes, this is the one that I ordered on Poshmark. And she was so sweet, she added in a mini mint. So this is the last SPF 15 fresh sugar that I will ever own, unless I find another one online. Okay, so I'm going to cut the vlog here. We're about to go to Terrace to watch Love Island. I'm going to edit the vlog while I watch Love Island. So I will see you guys in two days for Vlogus Day 4 and 5, I think. I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. That's weird.